الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القران العظيم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا من يرتد منكم عن دينه فسوف ياتي الله بقوم يحبهم ويحبونه اذل على المؤمنين اعز على الكافرين صدق الله العظيم all praises of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we glorify him we thank him for his many blessings and favors upon us we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his protection for his guidance we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for keeping us safe and healthy we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for keeping us on the righteous path i testify that there is none to be worshiped but allah he is alone and he has no partner and i testify that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his servant and final messenger ibadullah my dear brothers and my dear sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in al quran addressing the believers or you who believe those who turn back from their faith one has faith and he turns away Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we will replace him or replace that people with some others whom Allah will love and they will love him and Allah he will be lowly treat the believers with honor and dignity and give them the respect and those who reject Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be mighty against them and so we see allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminding us in the quran that if you have that faith in you waver and you move away from it it's like if you have a dislike for what allah has commanded you it's as if you do not consider yourselves fortunate that allah loves you and so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says if we do that then he will replace us with people whom he will love and those will love him and so today my dear brothers and my dear sisters we look at the concept of love likeness in life in our daily lives there are times 
when we like people or we dislike them sometimes for the right and the wrong reasons. Sometimes people look at us and they see certain qualities. It might, might not be the best of qualities, but because it fits well with them, they say that they like us. And, and we, we see it so vivid and clear in our world today that we live in. Because someone likes you, you do not look at the person's characteristics and the way of life of that person and what, whatever the person does. We, we have heard so much about uh, white supremacists. We, we have heard about, uh, you know, people taking advantage of others, but just because they say they like you, you, you just look away from their actions, you look away from their characteristics. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, we need to be form in what we believe in, we need to do that which will make Allah loves us. The Supreme, the Creator, the one who gives life and takes life, the one who can raise us, elevate us, or bring us down, that's the one that we should concern ourselves of in terms of what he likes and what he dislikes. And so let us look at some of uh, the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes about us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes the doers of good. When you engage in the doing of good things, bring happiness, comfort and joy, tranquility, peace of mind to people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that. Allah says in the Quran, وَأَحْسِنُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And so, excel, do good, strive to be perfectionist, strive for excellence in your actions, for verily Allah loves those who do good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again he says in the Quran wal kathimin al ghayz wal afin an al nas wallahu yuhibbul muhsinin and those who control their anger those who are forgiving to people Allah loves those qualities in us. Inna Allah yuhibbul muhsinin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the people who do good. Again in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Thumma attaqaw wa amanu. Thumma attaqaw wa ahsanu. Wallahu yuhibbul muhsinin. And guard yourselves. Be conscious of everything that you do. 
be pious, be righteous, and believe. And then Allah says, and again, be pious and be righteous, be guard yourselves. And in the process of doing that, always excel, do good. For verily Allah loves those who do good. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and He knows that we will face difficulties and trials and tribulations in life. He knows that there are times when we may want to give up. And so constantly we see in the Qur'an and in the traditions of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we are being told that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He loves the sabirin He loves those who have patience In the Qur'an Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He says that you will be afflicted by many things. But have patience. Give glad tidings to those who have patience. Those who understand that nothing happens save and except by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who gave you life and He is the one who will take your life. So have patience. Allah loves those who have patience. Allah loves the God-fearing. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُتَّقِينَ And verily Allah loves the pious, the righteous, the God-fearing people. So we need to strive every day of our lives to be guarding ourselves from transgressing the boundaries and the limits set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves us when we are from among such people, the God-fearing, the righteous, the pious ones. This is what matters with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaqum Verily, the best of you in the sight of Allah is the one who is righteous, pious, God-fearing. The one who knows what is right and he practices it. And the one who knows what is wrong, he keeps away from it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who put their trust in Him. In Allah, Yuhibbul Mutawakkilin. Verily, Allah loves those who put their trust in Him. You have faith in your Creator and you believe that nothing happens except by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, you do what is required of you, but then you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And not many people in the world today have that quality. It's a quality that is within the believers. And Allah affirms in the Quran that He loves those who put trust, their trust in Him. 
And so we should strive always, whatever happens, that we always put our trust in our Creator, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves those who are just. Allah loves those who are fair. We see so much injustice in the world today. We see people being treated differently because of the color of their skin, because of the language that they speak, because of the part, with different parts of the world that they came from. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Qur'an, وَإِنْ حَكَمْتَ فَحْكُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْقِسْتِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُقْسِطِينَ And when you pass judgment, when you are put in a situation that you have to decide in a matter, be fair, be equitable. Verily, Allah loves the people who are fair and just. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who purify themselves, those who stay pure. He says in the Quran, Wallahu yuhibbul mutatahirin. Verily, Allah loves those who are pure, those who are clean. In Allah tayyibun la yaqbalu illa tayyiba. Verily, Allah is pure, He is good, He is clean, and He only accepts that which is good and pure and clean. And when we talk about cleanliness, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, we don't look at cleanliness only outwardly. We look at cleanliness inwardly. Sometimes you can be all dressed up. The best of clothing, it looks very decent, there is no spot on it, no dirt on it. Your homes can be clean, the places you're surrounded can be clean, but within you, within the individual, there is enmity and hatred, there is dislike. No, that is not allowed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not allow that, He does not accept that. Allah loves when you are clean both inwardly and outwardly. Wallahu yuhibbul mutatahirin. Verily, Allah loves those who purify themselves. They keep themselves clean. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who turn to him and seek forgiveness. Allah loves the ones who repent. We make mistakes every day of our lives. Sometimes major, sometimes minor. Sometimes we don't even realize that we have made mistakes. And that is why so often we pray and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for mistakes that we have made knowingly or unknowingly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Quran, Inna Allah yuhibbut tawwabin. Verily, Allah loves those who turn to Him in repentance. 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Kullu bani adam khatta wa khayral khattaina tawwabun Every son of Adam makes mistakes, every one of us and the best of those who make mistakes are the ones who turn to Allah and they seek forgiveness for their mistakes Verily, Allah loves those who repent those who turn to Him and they seek forgiveness for the wrongs that they have done my dear brothers and my dear sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who when he has blessed them when he has given them resources they do not walk the land very arrogant but they are humble Allah loves the believer who is pious and rich but does not show off this is what our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said Allah has blessed you with richness Allah has given you resources but you, you do not walk arrogantly because of what Allah has given unto you you do not uh, look at people and belittle them because they do not have as much as you do but you look at the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said if, if you want to know how blessed you are then look at someone who has less than you and you will understand how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you and so my dear brothers and my dear sisters let us strive to ensure that we have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us strive to make sure that we have the qualities that will earn us the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't matter you know people like or dislike yes if we do the right thing people will like us but what really matters is how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us and in order for us to be loved by Allah we need to have certain qualities the qualities that we just mentioned may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be from among the patient ones the God-fearing ones the doers of good may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be from among the righteous ones the ones who put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter and may he save us from the torment of hellfire aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru Allah li wa lakum wa li sa'iru al-mu'min al-minat min kulli dhamb fa astaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رضوان الله عليهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد my dear brothers and my dear sisters prophet محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم said 
Allah loves the slave who believes and acquires a career. A slave who believes and he works. You, you don't just stay idle and expect everything to come to you. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَا تَنْسَ نَصِيبَكَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا And do not forget your portion in this world. We do have people today who just want to live off others. We do have people today who don't want to make effort. We do have people today who will make all sorts of excuses so that others will take care of them. The Prophet says, No, Allah loves the slave who believes and he also works. He strives. In another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that Allah loves from among his slaves the, the one who has a sense of zeal and honor. He, he has some dignity about him, prestige. Allah has given that to us. Don't make anyone take it away from you. وَلِلَّهِ الْعِزَّةُ وَلِرَسُولِهِ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And to Allah belongs prestige and honor. And to His Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And to the believers. Don't, don't make people trample upon you and take away your rights. Allah loves when you are dignified, you're honorable, because Allah has given that to you. He has given that to the believers. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talks about how Allah loves those who are generous in everything that they do. Allah is all generous. Allah is all generous. You know, Allah doesn't ask us for anything without giving us something. That's the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Pray and Allah rewards you. He gives you so many blessings. Fast and Allah rewards you. Do good things and Allah rewards you. Make hajj. Make Umrah, Allah rewards you. It's all, all for our benefit, but Allah gives us more on top of that. So Allah is all generous. And the Prophet ﷺ said, He loves generosity in sale, in purchase, in judgment, in everything that you do. Allah wants to see that generosity. He loves it. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah loves when we demonstrate strength in our faith, in our Iman. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, المؤمن القوي خير وأحب إلى الله من المؤمن الضعيف. The strong believer is more loved, is better and more loved by Allah سبحانه وتعالى than the weak believer. Allah is, He is inviting us to have strength in our faith. And he loves those who strive to strengthen 
every aspect of their, their faith, their iman, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes, He loves those who do good, but He loves those who have continuity in the doing of good. Even if it is small, do it continuously. For the Prophet ﷺ said, the best love deeds to Allah are the ones that are continuous, even if they are not very many, even if it is small, but you continue to do it all the time. You give one dollar to the masjid, that's all that you can afford, but continue to give it. You help a poor, continue, not, don't say, well, I have done enough. Continue that goodness of helping people. Allah loves continuity. He loves when we do good deeds continuously. And so, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, again, let us strive to do the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves so that we may be counted among the loved ones of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, there are many things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes. Today we are talking about what Allah loves. And we do so many of it. Let us continue to do it, encourage others to do it, so that we will always be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when Allah loves us, Allah gives us openings. Allah gives us sustenance. Allah helps us in ways that we never imagined. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask him to continue to bless us and to guide us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help those who are sick, grant them cure from their illnesses. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our brothers and sisters who have departed this world that he give them light in their graves have mercy upon their souls, that he make their graves gardens from the gardens of paradise, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise them and all of us on the day of judgment with our scrolls in our right hands, signaling our entrance into paradise. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to guide us and to protect us and to keep us safe. لقد أمرنا الله سبحانه وتعالى في القرآن العظيم حيث قال إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى الله من خلفائه الأربعة أبي بكر وأمر وأثمان وعلي ونستة الباقين المبشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة ونتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان لا يوم الدين اللهم عيز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الإيمان وثبت قلوبنا على الدين الإسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا هاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قديتها ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته اللهم ارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين الذين شهدوا لك بالوحدانية الذين ماتوا على كلمتك لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يمر بالعدل
بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض قم لا لكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله لا نعمه واشكروه على آلائه ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تسنون قم السلام